Well, they don't like each other and haven't for more than 100 years. But this week, one of WA's great sporting rivalries got nasty. East Perth lodged a complaint to the West Australian Football Commission alleging West Perth had damaged the club's brand. When East Perth legend Graham Farmer coached West Perth to the 1969 Premiership against the Royals, the rivalry intensified. There's no love loss between the two clubs. That dislike got ugly. Four years ago, East Perth coach Tony McCall was assaulted and last season, Royals player Jared Oakley Nichols was racially vilified. Ahead of tomorrow's WA Day clash, more mud's been thrown. Obviously this week there's been a few things that have happened and uh, it's certainly livened things up a bit. West Perth President Brett Raponi tweeted that East Perth were now defunct after their alignment to the Eagles. Raponi also suggested his club would recruit East Perth players. And it is a bit of banter at the end of the day. Um, we do respect East Perth but really couldn't give a stuff what happens out there at East Perth. Turner, a former East Perth and West Coast player, is talking tough. If clubs continue to go along the path of damaging our club or you know defaming our club, uh, we'll, we'll take the action you know, we think we need to. For Raponi, there is no greater rivalry in WAFL football. There's no love lost between our two clubs where I look at the Fremantle clubs and they're back slapping each other and drinking Chardonnay together and talking about sharing ovals. That'll never happen with West Perth and East Perth. Tomorrow's match will be the annual Jeremy Silcock tribute game, the East Perth player who died in Bali in 1996 during an end-of-season footy trip. Peter Vlahos, Nine News.